Hello. <coughs> God, that's a good start. Hello, ladies. It's Penny. <coughs> this is trouble when you don't talk to anybody all day because you're on your own. <coughs> when you begin to speak, your, your throat's very dry. I've come today because um, I just wanted to share with you some of my uh, ladies I've been doing um, embroidering from pictures. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. I'm thinking I might make a book, uh, you know, a lace book, but including my ladies that I've um, embroidered. So as you know, I embroider the picture onto sheets. So this was her, and she had a nice posy of flowers, and if I hold it steady, this is her all oh, done up nice. So you can see I put some nice lace, tiny little piece of a ribbon, I cut the end of the piece of the ribbon to go round her neck. I've done ribbon work for her flowers and the leaves um, which I've dyed myself with um, alcohol ink pens and a hat, she had a lovely green hat so I've just outlined it with uh, a little running stitch and I've made her a nice bow out of velvet and she had a little bunch of flowers on her head so I've done this rose though in uh, embroidery cotton and some leaves and like feathery flowers in embroidery cotton as well and I gave her a little pearl earring uh, and a little diamante she had I think no no it's something I've added she's not got one on there has she so I've just added it and I didn't do the white flower because my flowers are uh, bigger than the picture type of thing but I think she's turned out really nice that one very happy what I also do is with with the um, alcohol inks when it's finished I just darken a little bit her lips and because once it's printed onto sheet or material it's not as dark as as in the picture you know it comes out lighter so I tend to just go around the neck and, you know, a little bit around the hairline, just to, just to make it stand out a little bit more. You might have seen this one, I think you can see better. Um, pretty lady here, nice bouquet of flowers again. Uh, I have done one or two of these. They're nice to put on boxes as well, if you're all trim boxes. You know, instead of just a picture, I see if it's a nice lacy box with uh, different fabrics and that. These make a nice alternative to just a photograph, I think. So this lady here, a pretty with dark hair, and this is, I think, yeah, my could is that her? Yes, that's her, isn't it? Yeah, I've got to roll to do a little bit on this. Um, I've given her a neckline of lace. She didn't have one there. But I did on. I'm sorry. Ooh! Oh, gosh, droop. The cat can hear me talking, so it's jumped through the window on me. Yes, you're very nice. Get off my. Uh, I'm gonna pour Prince. Go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> I wouldn't mind she's not our cat, just as the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you're very pretty. You are, you're beautiful. I love you. <laughs> But you're right in the middle of the film now. You know what I mean? Hold on. <laughs> Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Go and see what's in your dish. See if there's something in your dish. <sighs> so that's our squatter. And the minute she hears me talking or chatting, ah, she's in. <laughs> so I must have to clean paw prints off or something now. Yeah, that it can. Where was I? Yes, so I've done more ribbon work with roses down here and um, these are just embroidered uh, little flowers at the top and little embroidered leaves. But she's a pretty lady, so that's those. Put that lady there. 
Then I went into a, I found this ballerina and I thought, yes, I, I think I could alter her. So she was fun to do. So this is, let me make sure you've seen her. Yeah. I know I do things too fast, ladies, I'm sorry. So that's the lady. And there we go. And that's her altered with a lace, uh, a netting skirt. So what I do in this one, I've had, I've got some silk, proper silk thread, not ribbon, thread. So it's because it's got a beautiful sheen to it, ideal for ballerina work and that. So I did all her ballerina shoes in this silk, just in a, a satin stitch, nothing fancy. Um, I did her bodice. I did her bodice. At first I was only going to do the outline of her bodice and just the gold, but it didn't look right. So I filled it all in with the um, silk thread. And then with gold thread, um, all I've done is, I was going, I was looking for tiny little sequins to go up these lines, but I didn't have any small enough. So I've done gold thread work instead, to, you know, to follow these lines on here. Yes, I do love you, darling, but <laughs> you're very pretty, darling. Yeah, but you're in the way. <laughs> Down you go. Good girl, Pitt. And... So I found a nice heart sequin, which I've put here, and a couple of little sequin, flower sequins, halfway down her bodice. And the, this netting I've got, it's already got the sequins in, so that's, um, that's a bonus for me. And then off a lace trim, she's scratching at something now, I just took the very edge off, just to, just to do around, around the top of her bodice. Can you see she's got a bit of lace there? Her straps, I've done a running stitch of gold and then I've gone in and out with the um, silk thread, just, just in and out so you can, it, if you do that you can see it shining type of thing. Her hair I've done more or less the same thing, just to give her a band at the back and I just enhanced the colours a bit as again with the um, alcohol ink pens. So, yeah, she, she would, they're, they're such fun to do, I love doing them. So that's another one I've done. Are you bored yet? This one I wasn't, I wasn't tremendously happy with. I think it's, I don't know. She didn't do much for me, so that's that one. Um, this one was nice to do. I've done this one a little while ago. Uh, as soon as I saw this dancer, ballerina dancer, I thought of sequins. So that's what I ended up doing, is all sequins. And it's, don't forget, this is just on linen and sheeting and that. This one I did do a backing, because with having sequins you want something a little bit firmer. So I just put cheesecloth at the back and sewed through that. Uh, it just gives it a little bit of body to work with. And I did all around the outside. If I do that, you might be able to see both. Look at that. Magic. Uh, embroidered first all the way around the different feathers, I presume they are. I think she's like a peacock, isn't she? And, and then I filled in them all with um, like iridescent uh, sequins. And there's a few blue to match the turquoisey colours. And of course, a ballerina shoes in silk. And I didn't fill in all the leg because I thought that would have been, that would have made like the leg look heavy. So I didn't do that. Um, and I just embroidered her bodice there. But I think she's turned out lovely, that one. I mean, when you sparkle, it looks very pretty. So, as you see, I've done a couple more papers, so I think I'll be printing them onto material as well. 
Put her like you in that one. I think I might have shown you these. Um, um, I went back on my videos and I can't remember half the time whether I've done I've shown you on Facebook, I've shown you on, on here. But that was the original picture. Two ladies in their big ballroom gowns. But I thought, well, there's a lot of imagination to go on there. So that was one of them I did. Mainly uh, did most of the work just on the one in the dark red. Oh, excuse me. And um, just tiny bits of lace, you know, if you're off cuts and round your flowers. Do you know what I mean? Or you cut off a leaf from a bridal piece and that. And... I, I just saved them all, you know, all these little pieces and that. And they all come in handy for, you know, if you're going to end up doing this type of work. So I've just embroidered her fan as well, as you can see there. I'm not sure if I, if I put that there, will that be a bit better? Oops, there. It's the cat, she's moved all my thing around, I think. There, how's that? Um, little knot work on her head of flowers and then a little bit of gold work um just to go around the flowers uh what did i do on that one a little bit of silver work i think on this one and she's got a red fan i think and this one's got just a little white fan so just say tiny little bits of lace and i've just put in um little beads little blue beads in between um, you know, each ruffle of the blue type of thing. Um, yep, a little bit of lace along there for a petticoat. And I've just emphasised the, the shoe with, with ink. I've not embroidered it. But I did embroider along there, the edge of her skirt. Otherwise it looked like she was just floating. So that's that one. Now this one very similar. But... Just slightly different style with the beads here, a bit more flimsy lace here. Flimsy? Is that a word? Flimsy lace. And I've given her more of a bonnet shape um, headpiece there. And, and she's got a bigger headpiece on there. And I can't remember what she put on there. I can't see ladies, you know that. Uh, what's she got? She's got a bit of embroidery on the back of her head wear bunnies and a couple of nice red beads and all these are done just with french knots you know a little simple french knot all the way along these are just done with chain stitch all along them rows a bit of lace and then embroidered around the top of it um beads just beads go uh, like a bronzy color and silver i think it's silver along here um yeah so that was that one, just makes it slightly different. So that's a lot of my embroidery I've been doing. The cat's watching. <laughs> and then I'm just seeing what time I've got. So if we've got time to show you this one, hold on. Yes, I have. And this other one, which I've been attempting to do. This, um, I have to get Ginny in Australia. I'll have a, uh, have a look at this one. Um, embroidering with... Uh, shells etc so I've, I've seen that there's a lady from the island where I'm from Jersey who does a lot of this beautiful work <laughs> you know I'm just uh, this is my first attempt type of thing but she does beautiful work using the beach shells from Jersey and and all her embroidery techniques and um, it does it looks wonderful so this is my beginning stage type of thing. And I, just, I don't know why it ended up a circle, mostly because of me embroidery hoops a circle, isn't it? So, because unless you do a big piece of material at the back to hold in a bigger hoop, you know what I mean? You, you, you can't use a, a small hoop and then go around it because... Um, you know, there's all shells and stones and hard bits in this. So, you know, you've got to... And like a, a fool, I've ended up with just a small piece at the bottom there. I will learn one day to use the right amount of 
material around. But at the moment, I'm not. <laughs> this is a bit of. Um, it's like drift, driftwood or something like that. It was in like a potpourri, uh, a smelly thing, you know, where you get um, showers and flowers and that. And it was just a nice colour and nice texture. So I just like weaved it a bit in and out just to hold it down without covering it. And then round the outside I've put um, different turquoise beads. And round the outside some dark beads along there. These were made with the, um, oh god, what's it called? That stitch where you put, Sonia will be watching me, you know, where you put five, um, five or six or ten round the needle, um, be uh, not Boston, Bebel, Bebel stitches is it? I know what I'm doing but I just can't remember the names of them, you know. <laughs> So that's what that is there. These were little metal, just tiny little metal circles. Don't know where they come from. They look like waters. So I've used them and I thought they looked like little sea uh, sea urchins of some kind. So I put them there and then just um, sewed them all in with embroidery to keep them there. Um, I've done like mossy green colours here for seaweed. And a little bit of ribbon work there for seaweed. This shell I actually made from Fimo clay and um, embossed it with sea breeze embossing powder. And there's a, he's upside down that one. Yes, we're still here. And that's a seahorse which I've done in the same material, uh, Fimo. Uh, some little real shells here. Uh, and there's that lovely shiny stone under there which I actually just stuck down with glue and then I've just held it in place with a bit of cotton and that um, without trying to hide it too much. There's another starfish but this one's an embroidered one and then in between I've done all these little crisscross stitches as if they're little sea anemones or things like that and little pearls everywhere now and again. This was a little pearl shell, not pearl, um, like a shell bead to go on a necklace or something. And I've just filled it in with turquoise. I put a mirror in just because, because I can. And I just, uh, you know, did a, a blanket like stitch around that to keep it in place. Uh, with some yellow. I've tried to not to get too many colours in because uh, it, it, it can be a bit overwhelming so I've tried to stick to three or four colours and the, these I like these because they, they do actually move because they're, they're, up, they're from a very chunky necklace and because there was a hole in lucky enough and so but it makes it a little bit of movement on there a nice feel to it so I like that and then finally on the top I, um, in that bag of potpourri, which was for sea breeze or whatever it was, there was some rope, string, netting, what we call it. So um, I just coloured that in with alcohol ink, um, you know, uh, different shades of turquoise, and I sewed that on. So that's like on the on the bed of the on the bed of the uh, the sea bed. So. I don't know where it would be used, it could go on a box, everything can go on a box can't it, or or something like that. So I think I might do another one, uh, yeah, I keep saying that and then I move, my mind moves on to something. I'm going to do another one of these and then I come back a month later and I know you're saying she's not done that, she's on FEMA again or she's on something else. I've got some new paints I've been playing with as well ladies which I'll have to show you as well. Um, but at the moment I'm trying to do things downstairs because we're decorating the kitchen. Hold on. Yeah. So that's why I'm working downstairs. Thank you for watching ladies. I'll come back in a minute and show you something else. <laughs>